Good day. Welcome to my Black Parade. Emo Fringe is back. Like with 2002, baby. Um, quick one today. You may have got an email from Halo which said specifically... Where are we? Over here. Um, deprecation of device change columns. And you probably read it and went, what in the world does that mean? Um, I'm going to tell you in English. Not sure why I'm going to do it in English. I am horrific at English, but I'm going to try and tell you how to fix it. And then just tell you to throw it at AI and let it fix it for you. But anyway, let's jump into it. Let's go over to here. So um, the email you would have got today is depreciation of device change columns. And basically what they've said is more information can be found here. If you click that button, it will send you to um, this article over here. And it basically says the bit you care about is we are deleting or removing DCD site and DC dev num columns from the device change table. So if they are referenced in any reports, the report will stop working because they no longer exist. And what it tells you to do is you can run this report yourself to go and find the reports that are going to break for you. Or you can go to ID 5555 in the repository to find the, if I could speak English, blah, 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 to find the same report, which is here, so you can identify what needs to be fixed. So if you go to, I've already pulled it up just before this video, but if you go to the online repository, so reporting online repository, click on any of the reports and change the ID to 5555, 5555545s. It will then load this report. And then it will highlight you the five reports that you must fix else they are going to break. Now, I'll be honest with you, I don't even track assets in my Halo because I just don't care. Um, so I'll never use these. But what you're basically looking at here is the SQL that is going to break when this change happens. So what you can do is grab the APID 375. And if I can pick an easier one. Yeah, this one here. 1088. Uh, you can then go to any report in your Halo. So I'll do this one. And you can change the ID of this to be 1088. And then basically you could do uh, edit and then data source. And what this is telling us in English is that DCD site and DC dev num must not exist. And if they do exist, they need to be removed. So DC dev site doesn't exist in this report, which is fine. However, if we look for DC dev num, you will see it is referenced down here on the join. So we're joining device on device change. So there's two ways you can fix it. You can use your brain and go and figure out how to fix it yourself. Or you can grab this article, go to your AI of choice. Can you fix this report? Uh, let me give you the report data first. Grab the report. This is the information. Go grab the information from Halo and then throw it in here. Or if you want to use your noodle, what we know down here is it is saying that device change is now being joined on device change did equals did, right? So if we grab that and go over here, we know that device change, um, this is written in a way I don't like, but we'll do this. Uh, hold on. Yeah. Device change, so in this report, DC dot um, DC DID equals device. So we're matching on device here, which has been, um, I can't remember what the word it. Um, rather than writing device dot, you do D. And my mind's gone a blank, who cares? It'd be D dot DID, like so, which then works successfully. Or if you ask your lovely AI bot, to go and do it for you. We use Claude, we think it's much better than ChatGPT, not gonna lie. Um, it will then spit you back the SQL changes. And I'm hoping it does the same as what I just did because I'm gonna look a little bit stupid. Uh, okay, other way around, whatever. But d.did equals dc.dc.did. Uh, um, doesn't matter which way around these go. Um, I like to do the what I'm joining to at the front, but maybe I'm doing it wrong, who cares? But yeah, so basically that's what it's telling you. These columns are being deleted from the database, so you need to delete it from your reports, because if not, they will break. Um, there's a guide on how to do it, if you know how to write SQL or understand what you're looking at. If not, take the guide, take the report, 
throw it at your AI of choice. And then there you go, problem fixed. That is basically what the email says. So don't panic, the world's not going to end. Um, and yeah, that's it. That's, that's all I'm here for. This is like, I don't know, five minute video. Enjoy it. Happy Halo and nerds. Have a great day and I will speak to you all soon. Goodbye.